When you harness these seven weapons, watch narcissists' egos shatter. Ever seen a narcissist sail through life, causing harm without a shred of remorse, seemingly unaffected by consequences? It's quite exasperating. Today, let's shift gears and focus on what genuinely troubles them. But it's crucial to make it clear that this isn't about seeking revenge, as that usually does more harm than good. I recommend taking the high road and removing yourself from the situation with your integrity intact. Before we dive into what bothers a narcissist, it's important to note that their distress isn't always visible. They won't readily admit vulnerability, and if they do claim distress, it's often a manipulative tactic. Understanding a narcissist's pain unveils a turbulent landscape marked by retaliation as their initial response. Seeking revenge sets off an endless cycle, a conflict without resolution. The key is understanding their delicate ego. An untouched ego remains intact. Disrupting this balance triggers their desire for vengeance, a pursuit that aligns with their agenda. It's a semblance of control they desire, and revenge becomes their currency. A clear sign of a wounded narcissist is their swift act of cutting ties. If you unintentionally or otherwise hurt a narcissist's ego in a relationship, be prepared for potential abandonment. However, understand that this isn't a definite sign of having hurt them. Their tendency to discard people goes beyond instances of perceived injury, often happening randomly, dictated by whims or a calendar date. Family and friend dynamics with narcissists mirror a similar sentiment. A slight provocation sparks an unwavering disconnection. There's no room for amends or second chances in their world, a paradoxical stance given their insatiable appetite for repeated opportunities. Surprisingly, a seemingly innocent act, like turning down plans, can cause the same hurt as a serious offense. The narcissist's reaction remains merciless, revealing their wounded state through immediate detachment, without a second thought. Their injury becomes apparent through a well-executed smear campaign, a tool used precisely for revenge. Their goal is not just to damage your reputation, but to revel in your suffering. If they don't achieve the desired impact, they redirect their focus to other ways of causing distress. Understanding what truly hurts a narcissist unveils seven powerful triggers. Beginning with indifference, this stance directly challenges their inflated sense of self. Your lack of interest undermines their grandiosity, signaling a diminished importance and hurting their ego. Indifference is a recommended strategy against narcissists, not for retaliation but for self-protection. Embracing tactics like the gray rock or the nuanced yellow rock strategy helps maintain distance and reduces vulnerability to their manipulative games. Delving into the complexities of a narcissist's psyche a crucial element with significant influence is the experience of shame. This deep sense of shame torments a narcissist silently, often erupting in intense episodes of rage, a spectacle familiar to those who have faced their tumultuous outbursts. What's both intriguing and troubling is the narcissist's detachment from their shame, buried beneath layers of self-importance. They tirelessly work to suppress these emotions using their grandiose self-image as an impenetrable shield against this emotionally harrowing vulnerability. Shame plays a significant role in the narcissist's world. Whether stemming from external actions or as an internal feeling, any hint of shame causes profound anguish for them. It's crucial to recognize that while shame is universally distressing, its impact is heightened in the narcissistic realm. For those dealing with narcissists in relationships, Addressing personal shame becomes a vital strategy, as it serves as the trigger for manipulative tactics. By confronting and resolving one's own shame, defenses against the manipulative strategies employed by narcissists can be strengthened. In the world of online comments, an interesting pattern often goes unnoticed during discussions. Comments that highlight a narcissist's absence of shame serve as clear examples, showcasing their disconnection from this basic emotion. These comments emphasize the significant gap ingrained in narcissistic personalities, confirming widely acknowledged truths. Exploring the idea of no contact in dealing with narcissists provides a thought-provoking perspective. 
Without the dramatic scenarios they create, narcissists can evoke pity. Encounters with their forceful and erratic presentations create discomfort, underscoring the delicate truth that their defense mechanisms shield them from ongoing embarrassment. Here's a thought-provoking idea, one that holds a balanced truth. If not for their defense mechanisms, narcissists might not consistently display defining behaviors. This introduces another source of distress for narcissists, no contact. Opting to cut ties, regardless of the narcissist's wishes, inflicts real pain, disrupting the anticipated narrative of continual reconciliation and challenging their importance. Implementing no contact sends a strong message of indifference to their influence. Blocking access and moving forward in life asserts, you are inconsequential. For narcissists, this triggers insecurities, revealing a foundation of deep-seated insecurity beneath layers of grandiosity. The intricacies of a narcissist's life involve a delicate dance between a facade of grandeur and the burden of underlying insecurities. This interplay, often concealed in human interactions, continues to captivate observers seeking to comprehend the mysterious psyche of narcissistic individuals. Contemplating how to handle a narcissist brings up thoughts of retaliation and retribution. One perspective suggests that the most powerful form of retribution is simply cutting off all contact, disengagement. For a narcissist, who thrives on conflict, this absence becomes a tool of torment. They flourish in a discordant environment. So indifference, acting like a sharp blade, becomes a powerful weapon that inflicts deep wounds on their ego. The truth in this idea is quite profound, as no contact and indifference prove to be sharp tools against a narcissistic disposition. Another significant point involves finding personal happiness independently. This idea disrupts a narcissist, as they believe your happiness is directly linked to their presence, making them indispensable. The absence of their presence, especially during difficult times, can be extremely painful. Demonstrating that you can be content without them causes a sharp ache. A compelling observation emphasizes the substantial impact of your happiness on the narcissist, offering a form of sweet retribution without widespread consequences. The key is to avoid stooping to their level and seeking vengeance. If retaliation is necessary, it lies in indifference and self-contentment, not in causing them harm. A contentious issue arises when considering exposing the narcissist. While it may seem tempting for revenge, it carries risks due to their vengefulness and lack of empathy. Purposefully exposing them often leads to getting entangled in conflicts. However, there are stories where individuals dared to expose the narcissist and came out unharmed. Instances arise where individuals expose the true nature of narcissists, either through direct confrontation or by revealing the truth to others. However, severing ties and mutual connections proves challenging. Even if accomplished, the looming specter of karmic repercussions often intimidates, creating a daunting shadow that most would prefer to avoid. Now let's delve into another aspect that may surprise you, especially in the context of individuals identified as narcissists. Consider this, covered narcissism places a significant emphasis on how others perceive them negatively. When you depict them in an unfavorable light, it profoundly affects them. They tend to see things and people as either entirely good or bad, thus creating a negative image even if some penetrates their defenses, transforms their self-perception into an entirely negative portrayal, even in their own eyes. This mental challenge for a narcissist is considerable. Imagine them feeling the same level of condemnation toward themselves, accompanied by overwhelming shame, as they previously directed toward you. Seeing oneself as entirely flawed induces pervasive shame. Additionally, a reinforcing comment contributes to this idea. Despite my aversion to name-calling, the candidness of the comment elicited a chuckle. Many of us likely resonate with the expressed sentiment. Another blow to a narcissist's psyche is the sensation of losing control, whether in subtle or significant ways. Minor instances may include being unable to dictate dinner plans, leave a meeting, or manage an event, Areas they believe they should oversee regardless of their actual capabilities. 
These seemingly inconsequential moments of surrender control can profoundly wound them despite their apparent insignificance. On a more substantial scale, there's a loss of control that combines the previously discussed aspects. It occurs when the narcissist realizes they've entirely lost their grip on you. Although they may have exerted influence over you for an extended period, suddenly, they find themselves unable to maintain that influence. As you navigate this path, consider supporting us with a nominal $1 contribution to access exclusive perks and sustain the creation of insightful content. Your support ensures that valuable insights continue to reach those who need them, fostering a community of strength and resilience.